how to duplicate and mirror objects. So if you go into create cube, one way you could duplicate if I take, let's say, the move key, if I hold shift and you see clone and I choose, let's say, one of the axes, and while left mouse button clicking while holding shift, it will duplicate the object. You could do that. I could take that and move again, for example. I could hold shift and you could do it on any of these axes. So that's one way you could duplicate. If you, you another way you could do it, if you go to edit, there's the regular duplicate, control D. Then you'll see it will duplicate it in spot. And duplicate again, you see that'll keep duplicating it. The difference, if you notice, if you select on here, the procedural that creates the cube is no longer there, as opposed no longer here as well. Whereas as this one, you'll see the polycube input where you could change the width and height. Uh, that's because when you duplicate it, it kind of deletes history as if you went to edit, delete history. So the construction history gets baked in to the polyline. Or the other way you might have done it is go to edit, delete history, and the whole construction history would have gone away. So when you duplicate, you lose that. So there's another way you could duplicate special. If you select this, go to edit, duplicate special, and it's control shift D. And if you go to the option box here, I'll reset it. You have options here. You could say duplicate input graph. And if you turn that on and say duplicate special, let's say apply it. And now you've duplicated the object, but you'll keep well, you have a history. The, if you notice this one's called Polycube 1, if I click on that, I'll have that option. If I select this one, this one's called Polycube, called Polycube, 2, Polycube 2. This one basically, it also duplicated the construction history and created another node to keep that, to preserve the construction history, but it's its own network and they're individual. So if I delete this and go back to We'll edit, duplicate special, the options, which I already have it open here. I'll reset it. I'll select the cube. But instead of duplicate input graph, I could say duplicate, duplicate input connection. So what this will do, it will duplicate the object. But the construction history, the polycube one, it won't duplicate that up this upstream of that network. It will keep that and I'll just make connect it to the new duplicate. So that's when you say duplicate input graph. The difference is it'll copy everything up the stream of the network. And this one, it won't copy everything up to the stream of the network. It will just connect it. So if I say apply, I'll create another polycube or PCube here. And you see that the construction history is still there, but it's also polycube one because it shares the same construction history, the same node. So if I move that up and I select this one and I move it, it's the same node plugged into both of these. So whether I choose the polycube 2 or the polycube 1 or PQ1 or PQ2, it's using the same history connected to both. So I'll delete these two. I'll just show you another way you can kind of mirror. If you go to, say, create, we'll just choose a sphere this time. If I go over here, actually, I'll make a, a cube. If I choose a cube, I'll go into component mode, choose vertices, select this, and let's say move that up. And I can actually select all the points and move it so it's deformed. So if I want to create, see when I move the points and I go back to object mode, the, the center of the object stays where it is. If I want to duplicate this, I could just do the, let's say the regular duplicate. So I have these two objects, but they're in the same spot. If I take the second object and scale the negative, if I want to duplicate on the negative x-axis, I could choose scale and put a negative one. And it will duplicate it on that side. Now the difference is the two transforms are different. So this one has a scale of one. This one is a scale of negative one. What you could do is select this one, go to modify, and you could do freeze transforms. I could select the option box just to make sure it's reset. And then I do freeze transforms. And basically, it will reset the transform but keep the deformation. 
And so it will zero it out or basically put it back to identity, the, the transfer matrix. So now they're both in the same space. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.